So this is part two to my blind solving tutorial, and in the last video I covered how to orient the corners, meaning how to get either blue or green on the top side, or either blue or green on the bottom side on the corners. Um, at this point, you should be able to do that step, um, and you can't do it without looking yet. So I will now teach you how to memorize, um, and I'm only going to teach you memorization for corner orientation for the moment. If I tell you all the steps it might get far too confusing. So, um, let's take a look at the cube. So, remember, uh, when you memorize, you want to have yellow on the top face and green as the front. So, um, let's take a look at the first corner. And this one's already oriented because blue is up. And it looks like these are oriented as well. That's not a very good example, so mix it up a little. Alright, this is a bit better. We always start with this front corner when we memorize for a corner orientation. So since it's already oriented, uh, I memorize it as X, but you may want to memorize it as O or anything. As long as you know, that means it's oriented. So I remember X. Then we move on to this corner, which also happens to be oriented. So there's also X. So now we have X, X. Then this corner, if you remember where your front is, look at it, and it needs to turn counterclockwise or anticlockwise, so we call that A. X, X, A. Simple enough. And we look at the bottom corner, and you don't have to look at it from the perspective of the bottom. Um, it will still need to turn the same way. And this one needs to turn, uh, looks like counterclockwise in order for green to be on the bottom. So that would be another A. Now we have X, X, A, A. Now we look at this one, and we're going clockwise on the bottom here, starting with this corner. The top we did the same thing, and I ignored this corner because it will fix itself. Uh, sorry, I didn't explain that earlier. So, X, X, A, A. Now move on to this one. This one's already oriented. X. Then over here, a, over here, C. C is clockwise. So, X, X, A, we ignore this one. A, X, A, C. X, X, A, A, X, A, C. This is the easiest step to memorize. So, uh, what you should attempt to do now is try to um, blind solve corner orientation. Just do that one step without looking. Um, and how you approach that is when you're not looking, I'm looking right now, but it doesn't matter, you put the piece that needs to be turned in the buffer zone. We'll start with this one, because uh, I like to do them in this order. Since these two are already done, we skip them. So you just put it in place. Then you do the counterclockwise algorithm. and put it back in place, and it turned itself. Sorry I'm so slow this morning, uh, I'm just really tired. So now we have another A down here, it's right below the buffer zone, so bring it up, and you can do this quite easily without looking, just remember, oh, this one's A, I'll just bring it up here, and do the counterclockwise algorithm. Put it back in place. There it is, oriented. This one's already oriented. And this back one here was A, that I recall. So, there we go. Now the last one, C. This is the only C, but normally uh, you have equal odds of getting A or C. Set the algorithm there. Hold on. All right. There we go. Bottom's oriented. Top is oriented. This corner fixes itself automatically. You should be capable of doing that without looking. Just take some practice. Um, if you want, you can write down the memorization. That would be cheating in a regular blind solve. 
but write it down, then just do it without looking, so you don't have to worry about the memorization part and simply the blind solving part. Uh, it's easier to just focus on the blind part at first. Now that you have your cor corners oriented, um, just practice that step for like a day or so. I really emphasize on this. Take breaks in between steps. Just practice one, then move on to the next one. Um, it takes time. So after you've practiced one for quite a while, and you can do corner orientation very easily, it is the easiest step. Move on to corner placement. My next few clips were too long to split up or try to fit in this video. But that concludes the corner orientation step. And I will move on to the next step in my next video. I know this one's only six minutes long or so. I could have kept going. But I didn't feel like breaking up the next step. So now that you can do the first step, practice that. And I'll have the second video up, or the third video rather, as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.